why aren't more schools like yours, Mark, offering neurofeedback? Because we're talking about adoption. You can't have adoption unless schools teach it. Why aren't more schools doing it? That, that's a good question. I would like to know the answer. There are, there are some uh, schools that, that have it, but not necessarily the state uh, universities. And uh, I'm hoping, you know, as uh, one of my bosses said years ago, you know, you're, you're uh, training your competition. <laughs> and uh, I hope so. I've been training my competition for decades. I hope I can uh, broadcast students who graduate and uh, go to other universities and teach. And uh, our, our PhD is for those who are planning to teach. And uh, so I think we've got some seeds planted out there. And I, I know some folks that are doing neurofeedback, but not necessarily a dedicated program. Ours is really structured around meeting the certification requirements through BCIA. And uh, we, we offer everything but the uh, neuroanatomy course and the exam. And because we're teaching um, the counseling program, because we're teaching, um, we're teaching neuroscience, we're teaching neuroanatomy, um, neuropharmacology, students learn what's going on in the brain uh, related to mental illness, uh, how medications are affecting them. So whether they ever put a wire on anybody's head, uh, they're gonna be better counselors uh, for having gone through the program because they're gonna understand the organ that we're treating <laughs> with counseling uh, techniques. And there's a ton of science around about that. 